How's it going once again? Welcome back to another show. This is You Made Roscoe and I am Roscoe. And today, um, I got my partners at crime with me. I got peeps in the building and I got my man Joe V in the building. You know, um, uh, for everybody who doesn't know, uh, my man Joe V. Warren Shinobi, he does have his own page on uh, YouTube. Uh, Joe, v. Juan, Joe V. Juan Shinobi. That's uh, Joe V. as you see it right there on the screen. And Juan, is it W-A-N? It's just a pun on Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. But Joey Wan Shinobi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so we'll, we'll um, I'll let him pub it again as we leave it out. But uh, today we're going to be uh, checking out a, uh, a clip from one of uh, Chris Rock's shows. I believe this is from Bring the Pain, uh, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. But the name of this video is Commitment Dilemma. So uh, we'll be checking this out. Before we do that, I do want to ask for anybody who hasn't that they please subscribe uh, to my channel and, of course, Joey's channel. Um, also, make sure that you go over and uh, do the same exact thing with uh, Chris Rock, because even though he has a lot of money, you still want to support him. <laughs> you still want to support the artists. You know what I mean? So um, now that we said uh, I've said all that, let's go ahead and uh, check out what Chris has to say. Let's do it. Days of my life now. Just at another point in my life, you know, time to settle down. Time to settle down. That's what time it is. Time to settle down, boy. Women always ready to settle down. She, a woman go on four good dates. She's like, why are we bullshitting? What are you waiting for? Men never ready to settle down. Men don't settle down. We surrender. <laughs> all right, there he is. All right, all right there. Okay, just tell me the day before, I'll be there, hey, there. <laughs> no, eventually you gotta, every man got, especially men, you gotta settle down. You know why you gotta settle down eventually? Because you don't want to be the old guy in the club. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, any club you go into, there's always one old guy. He ain't really old, just a little too old to be in the club. <laughs> You don't want to be that brother. So you got to settle down. So I get to a point in your life, you got to figure out what's important to you. On one hand, you got commitment. You and your woman together, living, sharing, loving, growing. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. And you know that. But before you can settle down, you got to get over this other shit. That's right, because every man got a choice to make. Every single man in here got a choice to make. And you know what the choice is. Commitment or new pussy. <laughs> that is the question. Commitment or new pussy. You know, commitment will give you a headache every now and then. New pussy always clears your mind. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna stop it for a second because uh, when, when he speaks about that right there, um, that's something that you know, as a man, uh, uh, pretty much all of us know about. But um, it's funny when he says that because I, you know, with the new pussy, you know, as he was saying, um, I think the reason why there's no headaches is because you you could dismiss them at any time. You know, like you don't have to put up with they stuff. You know, but. Um, but uh, peeps, what, what, what's your what's your immediate thoughts on that? On what we just heard up to this point? No, he he he, he spent number facts on that. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, we we all go through it. You know what I'm saying? And whether or not you can deal with this person the rest of your life, the good times and the bad. You know what I'm saying? If you can't find anybody that 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 you can honestly say that you could go through that with, well. Uh, Enjoy, enjoy single life. Shit, that's all I can say. <laughs> Joe B, what about you? He forgot the third option. What's that? Just being by yourself or being a bachelor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I guess that would go into the, the well, I guess that that is a third option. You know, always consider uh, being a bachelor in the new pussy category. 
See, the only thing about it is like when when you say commitment or new pussy, that's like you're already talking to somebody at that point where you're at that crossroads. Somebody else, I should say. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I get it. Because he's holding up uh, like commitment or new pussy. You know? <laughs> like that new pussy is just waiting for you to jump <laughs> from your committed relationship right. or your committed relationship. Or you could just be by yourself and go do some things on your own. But that's my take. My take on it. Yeah, no, people are scared to be alone, man. I, 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 I've been rocking it out with, without a chick for a minute. I, I've went on like a, a few dates here and there, and it's all made me feel like I'd much rather be by myself. But uh, you know, we'll keep this going. You know, so I mean, but how much hand love can you do? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let's just keep it one hundred. You know what I'm saying? We all adults around it. Lots, you know I mean? man, lots, nigga. <laughs> lots. Like, like, yeah, you, you become, you become very familiar. You know what I mean? A nigga that got strong around here. Yeah, you <laughs> like, ah, like, I wish a nigga would run up on the right side of me. I wish. <laughs> I'll say this: Fistina is a lot more peaceful. Yes, yes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so let's 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 keep it moving, man. But you gotta think about life in the long term. Now people tell you life is short. No, it's not. <laughs> life is long. Especially if you make the wrong decisions. <laughs> and in the long term, if I'm sick, is new pussy gonna take care of me? No. If I'm hungry, is new pussy gonna feed me? New pussy can't cook. <laughs> If I got a baby, is new pussy gonna teach him how to read? New pussy that letter at. <laughs> so I gotta come back to commitment and turn this old pussy into new pussy. That's right, I got to recycle the pussy. <laughs> I got to recycle the pussy. So that's what relationships are all about. Recycling, keeping it new. If it ain't new, it's through. But fellas, when you decide to commit, you got to commit. You got to commit. Can't cheat. Wanna cheat? Can't cheat. <laughs> Dying to cheat? Can't cheat. Ain't a, can't wait to cheat. Can't cheat. She sometimes got to go to rehab not to cheat. It's hard not to cheat. Women don't want to hear that shit. It's hard not to cheat. You know why it's hard not to cheat? Because women like men that are in relationships. Guys know what I'm talking about. When you were single, nobody was thinking about your ugly ass. <laughs> then your woman got a hold of you. She cut your hair, washed you down, gave you a lifesaver, wiped all the crust out your eyes. Now everybody wanna fuck you. When you when you were single, nobody was calling your ass up. Now your phone ringing off the hook. Crazy freaking sex calls like, hey, what you doing? You know, me and my girlfriend are having a dick sucking contest. And we thought you'd be a good judge. You never got that call when you were single. Now you get it every Tuesday. <laughs> but you can't cheat. Can't cheat. You know why? Because you're going to get caught. <laughs> you going to get caught. I don't care who you are. You're 007. You going to get caught. <laughs> You are gonna get caught. And you don't wanna get caught, but I'd rather get caught stealing some shit from the government than to get caught cheating on a woman. Cause I got caught out there about five years ago. I remember like it was yesterday. A woman found two condoms in my pocket, but it was a pack of three. <laughs> And all I gave was, where's the other condom? Where's the other condom? Where the fuck's the other condom? Where is the condom? Yo, women are just like the police. They can have all the evidence in the world, but they want the confession. <laughs> well, let, me, let me stop it for a second, because when, when he was talking about, like, uh, uh, getting caught, it's actually not getting caught. It's the investigative process that women go through. You know, when <laughs> that's, 
that's what that's what ended up happening because when I was with when I was with last with somebody, you know, like it was always uh, searching through the phone and let's exchange phones for the day and you know what I mean, just all this weird stuff so they could do their investigation, you know. And, and, and but but you know I ain't gonna stretch it out. But uh, peeps, what, what what you feel about that? Yeah, when it comes down to that, you know, can't figure out, out other things, but they become the world's greatest detective when they come to that, though. <laughs> all these marks is Batman all of a sudden. <laughs> like, I didn't know you graduated from Quantico, man. Like, damn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jeez. Joe V, what, what you got to say, bro? You know me, man. This is an old video, but the, uh, since we're doing it in 2022, women cheat at the same rate as men. I, I think they actually cheat more, honestly. So this video from what he's saying, you know, for the man, don't get caught. For the woman, don't get caught or don't do it. And that's why I said there's that third option. Because as long as you express that ex uh, exercise that third option, there is no getting caught. You're just free to do what you want. The thing about it is I don't think people are mature enough to do what Chris is saying. I think people love their freedom. They love the newness. He already said, you know, that new pussy feels good. I'm pretty sure to the modern woman, that new dagalang feels good too. <laughs> yeah. No, but here's, here's, here's the part you said about the maturity, though, and my bad for cutting you off, man, but... Um... But yeah, no, it, I I mean um, that like you could be, but like for me, I don't I didn't necessarily or not necessarily because that would mean that I was thinking about it. But I just I wasn't on no cheating stuff. Like I like if you're not happy with the person that you committing to, then why are you doing all of this? Like like you putting yourself in a bad spot to to be thinking of cheating and all this other stuff if you're not in with the right person anyway you know what i mean if you're not if you're not locked into that if, into that person that's like I, ne uh, cheating ain't even necessary you know like all that stuff you know so i don't know man it's just it's just weird to me but we'll we'll keep this going because i know we kind of on limited time but uh yeah I, I i just think you know uh not cheating would be a good thing but that speaks to the maturity that you was talking about joe Just admit it. I know you did it. Just admit it. I know you did it. I got it on film. I know you did it. Just admit it. I found a blonde hair. You was fucking a crack ass cracker, wasn't you? I know you did it. Just admit it. Can you be a man? Can you be a fucking man and say that you did? Was it good? Did she toss your salad? I know you did it. Just admit it. And if that don't work, then women get psychological on your ass and try to trick you into confessing. Then they start going, it'll be all right if you just say you did it. It'll be all right if you just say you did it. Honey, it'll be all right if you just say you did it. You hear that shit 900 times, you start losing your mind, you start thinking, I guess it'll be all right. <laughs> Then I just say I did it. Honey, I did it. So I know it I. I can't believe you did that. But I thought you said you knew. I didn't know till you told me. And time goes by. And she forgets you. But she never forgets. <laughs> and you drive to grandma's house and say, oh, baby, I'll make a right turn right here. Did you make a right with that bitch? <laughs> Now, I know from now on, no matter where we go, it's all left turns. You understand? <laughs> and you know what the crazy shit is? You cheated on your woman. She shouldn't trust you no more. But she does. Eventually, she does. But you know what happens now? Now you don't trust her. <laughs> you cheated on her. Now you don't trust her. What kind of ignorant shit is that? You know what happened? You just fucked around your woman. You know what happens when you fuck around your woman? You just gave her a get some dick free card. 
And you never know when she gonna cash it in. But yo, it might get to the point. She found out she was cheating. She wanna break up. If she wanna break up, run. You got off lucky. But you ain't gonna get that lucky. No, no, no. As soon as you get to the door, she's like, no, no. Let's work it out. You know what working out means? Payback. You know what the first part of payback is? You ain't getting no pussy for a long time. Boy, you ain't gonna get no pussy till the Bills win the Super Bowl. And she gonna make sure you get no new pussy either cause she get your beeper, a cellular phone, a car phone, gonna put all them things on your ankles like a prisoner. And every time you leave the house, you gotta check in. I'm outside. I'm on the car. I'm in the car. I'm on the road. I'm at the supermarket. I bought a pack of fries. I'm coming home. I got some buzz. I'm on my way. I'm run- I ran a light. The cops are chasing me. They chasing me. They chasing me. I ran out the car. They shot me in the leg. I'm a hopping. I'm a hopping. I'm almost home. I'm almost home. I'm in the driveway. I'm right next to you. I love ya. I didn't, I didn't even realize I, I was going I was going through that with my ex. You know, she totally fooled me. She was making out like she would these was just like random calls, but it was all the time, you know, to just to kind of keep track of, of where I was all the time. Uh, but uh we got a we got a little bit more time left in this video, so I'ma uh let this play out and then we can say what we need to say. kind of look like all that's left is the credits. I know sometimes they come out for like an encore joke. I just want to make sure. It don't, I don't think I'm missing nothing back there. So um, put it right there. All right. So uh, that was Commitment Dilemma by Chris Rock. And uh, Joe B, I start with you, bro. Uh, what was your thoughts on what we, on what we just heard? We'll take it back to when this woman was investigating him to Eddie Murphy on Raw when he had to confess. But like, when his woman was asking him if he cheated, he's like, yes, yes, I fucked her, I fucked her. I make love to you. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta come clean and put that spin on it. But like he said, uh, the, the whole going back and forth with the, the cheating stuff inside of relationships, I'll never get it because it's like, why commit to somebody that you feel like you want to cheat on? It's always been over my head. Um, and like you said, if, if you're with somebody and you just ain't feeling them, and, and I would assume that's in the dating process, then just get going. You know, don't even commit. I don't understand commitment and then turning around like, yeah, it's time to cheat. But uh, he had some very valid points there, especially her get free dick car. She get fellas out there, she got that card all the time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Whether you cheat or not. <laughs> well man. Peeps, well what well, what you gotta say, bro? It's never yours, it's just your turn. Right. <laughs> you know at the end of the day, even when you're married to somebody, you don't belong to them. It's a it's a it's a mutual um commitment to be just with each other you know what i'm saying but it's not you know written on thor's hammer that you you can't go out and do whatever the hell you're gonna do but it's the idea of nah this person's gonna rock with me to the end all that cupcake phase and shit and those feelings that you have in the beginning of the relationship that shit fades for all you youngin out there 
that shit fades away. It doesn't stay forever. If you're lucky to have it for a year, a year and a half, great. The core is, does this person make you better than what you were before them? Will this person be there if you got sick and they're there for you? Will this person be willing to go the extra mile for you that you may not go for them? If you find that person, you value them and you keep them close. You don't do them wrong. You don't. You know what I'm saying? But life is going to teach you. <laughs> Trust me, life is going to teach you everything. You know what I'm saying? But take it from some old fellas here. Well, take it from this old man. You know what I'm saying? If you find somebody out there that I just explained to you uh, what you should be looking for or a certain aspect that you should be looking for, if you find that person, hold on to them and value them. Yeah. Peeps is right. And I'm going to be brief because I see the time is running out. Wow. I know a few people who had some solid individuals in their corner and they cheated on them, left them, did whatever, and they are having the hardest time to find those solid individuals again. Cause as you get older, you can't find that, you know? So like Peep said, you hold on to them, cherish it. Yeah, no, I mean, I, mean, I think Chris Rock said it best about when he was talking about the recycling part. Like, um, it, yeah, I mean, uh, it, uh, there are some people who want to go out and get with a new person just because they, you know, for the sake of just having a new person. But I mean, the the, the reality is, is that the, the grass is never greener on the other side. It just never is, you know. The grass is you, greener where you water it. Yeah, you know, so go, go on ahead, rock it out with that person. You know, y'all going to go through y'all ups and downs. Like Peach said, the, that that honeymoon phase is going gonna, is gonna to go away and then comes the real work of, trying to work at being together and staying together for the long haul, you know? So um, just realize that it's, a, it's not all fairy tales and gumdrops and lollipops and all that good stuff. And that uh, you're going to go through some stuff, but uh, just, just rock it on out. That's all I can say, you know, but um, this is, this was a, a, a really good video. You know, Chris Rock always has a way of putting things, you know, uh, as a uh, Forrest Gump would say, he puts things to where you can understand them. <laughs> you know, mama always had a way, you know, of putting things the way I can understand them. But uh, no, 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 man. this is Forrest real quick. Forrest yeah. talking to Chris Rock. Uh, why does it Jenny love me? <laughs> it's Jenny by the streets. She don't love you. She by the streets. We should have left Jenny alone, man. But, uh, before we before we get up out of here, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the share button, hit the playlist option. You'll pick the one name, Comedy Reactions. We do have a playlist um, for this type of stuff, of course. So you'll find this along with everything else comedy related. We do have uh, other playlists. Uh, a lot of that is going to be music based. But of course, as you can see, uh, given this, we do some other things as well. So. Check out all those playlists. Cash out, dollar sign, you made Roscoe. PayPal at you made Roscoe for those who like to show their support, appreciation. Any donations, you're going to make them at one of those two spots at the bottom. Uh, let's see, we have less than a minute. So I've said all I can say. Go over to Joby's page, Joby Wan Shinobi, and check out his shows. Come back here, you'll see me and Peeps and Joby when he's not recording his shows over here. So. Uh, until next time, y'all be safe and be good.